It's going to be a top table clash with two teams coming off wins and it should be an absolute cracker. Delhi are showing they've got lots of form. Bangalore are showing that they found a chap called Virat Kohli who realised he can bat again. We never doubted that but it was just about that one boundary, that one innings and now be scared opposition. Yeah, he was he was excellent the other day uh, the other day in Abu Dhabi. Virat Kohli was outstanding. I I mean it was an afternoon game and he was 60 odd not out and he was running he was looking for a third he was charging for a second and you almost felt like saying Virat it's okay it's not the last day on the planet it's okay but that is how Virat plays every run is the last run he's going to score every ball is the last ball he's going to play so Virat being in good form was 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 excellent uh, AB never rusts anyway but I think a lot of pressure is coming off them by the through the form of Devdat Padikal uh, Finch has, has had a couple of starts as well uh, when these guys play well, the pressure is off. So Dubey can be a finisher. I don't. I, I saw Chris Morris bowling uh, just before the game started, and he batted in the nets the day before. So Morris, if Morris comes in for Zampal, then I think their team is complete. They've got to take a call on whether they want to stay with Gurkira or whether they back Zampa and Washington Sundar to bat at at six or seven, and they want another Indian bowler. But in any case, they've got six Indian bowlers, so it's starting to look like uh, uh, you know, uh, starting to look like it's coming together. Every team takes three or four games, but I think now they have found out what uh, probably found out what their best team is. They might give young Shabazz Ahmed a go. You you never know. They talk highly of him there, but at least they've got options. They might even go to Pavan Negi and say, okay, let's get another left armer. Who knows? So if Morris comes back in, suddenly the options open, and yeah, they're, they're looking a good side. Delhi are looking a good side. There are two teams that I think know what their best are close to knowing what their best side is. Yeah, I totally agree with that. And the one thing I'd say is that Morris has, they have two options. They can get Morris in for Zampa. But what they can also do is get Morris in for Udana and keep mm. that Zampa option. And then, then you're cooking even more because then what you have is a situation where Zampa, uh, Morris bowls is the death. You have Navdeep Saini out there. Uh, Dubey to bowl is off cutters if possible, you know, in the end, if, if really necessary. And you have some spin options as well. Look, I. I, at this point in time, uh, they could look at Pavan Negi versus Gurkirat because it's a straight swap out there. I think they believe Gurkirat's a better bat at this point in time. So they mm. and they haven't really given him a chance to do anything about it. So they might stick with him. Uh, but this is a settled side, and if Morris comes back, this could be a dangerous side. Yeah. Yeah. The only and reason I, I said Morris for uh, for Zampa is of Udana is. Uh, at, at the moment, it's very clear who's going to bowl at the end. Come what may, Udana and Saini are going to bowl at the end. With Charles bowling up to 17, maybe. If you have Morris, it just gives them that option at the end. But, uh, I mean, it could go either way. Yeah. And once you do have Washington Sundar delivering for you, you're not necessarily going to be screaming about Moin Ali getting into the side, despite left-handers in the opposition. So, we'll leave that option out for the moment. Yeah, I, I, think, I think they have the options. I think they have the options at this point in time. And if Washington Sundar is giving it to them, no, why? Why would you tamper with somebody? Because the other international bowlers are all delivering for you. And I think Zampa is a special bowler. Whether you like it or not, he is a special bowler. He gives you some X factor. He takes wickets. He's a wicket taking bowler. It's important in this format of the game. You know, everyone talks about economy at the end of the day. Wicket taking bowlers are gold. Yes. Well, the other an unfamiliar position for this team is that they're sitting pretty towards the top of the table. They're not always there. So, it remains to be seen how they enjoy being a front runner. Not every horse likes that, we know that. But for the opposition, the Delhi boys, they seem to have a very, very settled team. The only thing they'll have to keep reminding themselves is, we are just coming back from Charger. So, let's not play Charger like cricket again and let's reboot ourselves in a sense. A uh, couple of injury issues is what they've had, Ishan Sharma being one of them. Other than that, with Ashwin back, it looks again very, very settled, Asha. It is. And, and look at how good Amit Mishra has been. So, uh, you've got Akshar Patel, who's 4 overs 14, 4 overs 18. And he has to make way because um, um, Amit Mishra is bowling beautifully. So, now you, have, you actually could play all three if you really get to the tail end of the tournament. Uh, then they've got uh, Kimo Paul sitting in there, who's a very good option to come back into the eleven. You often see who's not playing. You know, Harshal Patel, good players, coming off a great domestic season, slots right back in and bowls a good spell for you. He can come and tonk at the end as well. So, there's people on the on the periphery who are, who are good enough to come in, which is what we're saying. But I think what they've done really well, we thought at the start of the season that 
their overseas Indian contingent was great. The overseas was a little thin. Then, and I don't know if this is a blessing in disguise. Would Chris Wokes have bowled as well here on this heart uh, where you need to hit the deck? So maybe Nokia has been a blessing in disguise, but he came in as a replacement and Stoinis has done well. So as a result, their overseas contingent is now pulling its weight. Maybe instead of Hetmeyer, they might they might look at somebody for Hetmeyer, but uh, but it's again a settled side and good side. I think the, I mean, I, I you, you always thought they're a good side, but I think they're playing better. Yeah, with Jason Roy also being in there, when when he opted out, they started talking about, well, are they losing out on some of their big guns? Mm -hmm. But uh, as you said, the Indian batsmen have certainly shown that they not only belong, but they're winning matches for them. And that's been a huge asset for Delhi. That's what we're looking forward to tomorrow.